Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton, and welcome to another Everton 24-7 report on yet another busy day. Of course, as expected, the Drissagana Gay has completed his move from Everton to Paris Saint-Germain this morning, and no doubt that will be a very big loss to Everton, but it is time for us to move forward now. He certainly gave us all to Everton while he was here, and for that I can't say anything other than best of luck to Ghana in Paris. He deserves it and hopefully he does bits for them. But let's focus on our potential arrivals, shall we? I'm going to start with the big one, which is finally looking as if it's starting to come together. Moise Keane is looking more and more likely to become our next summer signing. Those rumours I mentioned last week, which suggested we had got rid of the buyback clause, appear to be true, and it's been backed up in the Italian press today by the likes of Gianluca Di Marzio, who's a very prominent Italian journalist. Throwing a fair few social media posts from his brother Giovanni, and... One from Moyes himself getting off the plane, talking about new challenges. Dropping a couple of hints there, perhaps, hopefully so anyway. It feels like finally Moyes Keen in an Everton shirt might not be as far away as we think. And thank God for that, because it's only seemed to have taken a month to get to this point. And it might not be set to stop there, as of course with Ghana leaving, the links to Jean-Philippe Baman continue to roll in thick and fast, particularly now that deal is done. Sky Germany today reveal that we have had an initial bid for Baman of around £23 million rejected, with Mainz holding out for £27 million. Now, in the past hour or two, the Daily Express believe that an agreement could be reached by the end of today. It's a big ask now, given that we've, I think we've passed nine o'clock. So, hopefully, we are making inroads, but I can't see that happening just yet. But now Ghana is officially gone, a replacement does need to be signed quite urgently. So, hopefully, Baman, if it is Baman, is hopefully in the door within the next few days. Now, if it wasn't already obvious, the signing I'd most like to see us do personally is Malcolm. Of course, the Malcolm transfer rumours are still very much all over the place. Borussia Dortmund were getting him. That's died down. Now, Zenit St. Petersburg are the favourites and are apparently close. But we're apparently trying to hijack the deal and Barca are willing to accept either offer. And it's down to the player, apparently. The Malcolm transfer saga is really quite the conundrum. And I re- but I do really think we're missing a trick if we don't get Malcolm, or at least try. So I do think we should be really trying to muscle in and get that deal done if we can. But perhaps there is a reason why we're not going after Malcolm. Because the big rumours don't stop there today. Uh, rumours resurfaced later this afternoon that we are set to sign. 17-year-old Brazilian wonder kid Rainia Jesus, who we did mention on this show briefly a few weeks ago, but as seems to have been the case all the way through this window, the Echo have refuted any rumours that we've been linked to them. So that we're apparently not interested, but apparently that's just resurfaced today. And the kid is believed to be the best Brazilian of his generation, which is no mean feat in a nation which only last year produced Vinicius Junior, who went to Real Madrid for... 42 million, also from from Flamengo, funnily enough. So, certainly an exciting signing for sure if it happens, but we would, of course, have to wait six months to get him because of the rule that he can't sign for us until January when he has turned 18. So, it's certainly up for debate whether or not this is the right move for us, especially when Malcolm may be there for around the same price and is more proven in Europe. What do you guys think about this? Drop us a comment and let us know. Finally, for another teenager, we've got La Provence, a prominent newspaper in the south of France, has linked us to Marseille forward Isaac Lihadji. We're said to be keeping close tabs on him, along with Manchester United and Barcelona. There is only 12 months left on his current deal, which itself isn't a professional contract. So, again, not a name very widely heard of, but clearly scouts across Europe are holding them in high esteem. So, to be mentioned alongside the likes of Man United and Barcelona, as opposed to, say, West Ham and Leicester, is it's a lot more refreshing sometimes after reading endless transfer rumours of that ilk. And hopefully there'll be even more transfer rumours coming your way tomorrow, as some of these deals look like they might be just edging over the line. Hopefully we'll have some really good news to bring you tomorrow, fingers crossed. Until then, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and thank you again for watching on the Toffee Blues.